Yeah, and you know we were waiting there. So hi everybody, it's a pleasure to be here. Hi Sanjeev, good morning. Hi morning, morning. How you been doing? Good, good, very good. Yourself? Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Great. Cheers. Right. Yeah. Sanjeev sir, uh, Shrinivas also joined uh, around a couple of minutes ago. Uh, he got the right link, I guess. I'm not sure. Yeah. Because we were on the other link and we were, you know, waiting for uh, everybody to join. I think there was a small mishap in terms of, uh, you know, there were two links, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, please go ahead. Yeah. Great, right. So uh, I was telling you guys what happens in the first call, right? Now, first call is only to understand what you guys are doing, uh, what you've done probably so far and what, what is your team all about. Again, so the investor is interested to understand what your team is all about is because at the end of the day, he's betting his money on the team more than the project, mm -hmm. right? So project at the end of the day, there'll be a lot of twists and turns and a lot of strategy changes that will keep happening throughout business, throughout the journey of uh, a business, right? However, if the people that I'm investing my money are right, I am sure that we'll be able to make it through together. So make okay. sure that you have a fantastic team. Make sure that uh, you are able to convey your message right to the investor. What is the team all about? How you form that team? What is the diverse skill set that the team has? So those are the important things that an investor is looking forward to in the first call. Post to your second round of call happens, a face-to-face -face meeting happens with the investor. If the investor is then interested, then a physical, uh, probably an investor come over to your place, you will go over to the investor's place. A couple of rounds of calls and meetings do happen. So funding doesn't happen in one call or one meeting. Let me be very honest. Right at the end of the day, it's somebody meeting, betting his or her money on you guys. Right? So investors will be absolutely sure whom they're putting their money on. Right? So after a couple of rounds of calls and meetings, then probably investors will say, yes, these guys are okay to go ahead and uh, give you the money. Probably they'll start with the due diligence process or probably they'll give you a term sheet side by side and tell you this is the term sheet that we'll be operating on. And side by side, they'll start doing the due diligence. So those are the things that happen. Post, post the due diligence once everything is clear. Again, so I, uh, I want to make a point here. Mm -hmm. I'm just some kind of difference. Is it on my side? Yes, yes, yes. Not sure. Oh, yes, 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 perfect. So, uh, <clears throat> um, so again, so while when it comes to due diligence, be very, very sure what kind of numbers, data you talk with the investor. Because I've seen a lot of startups boasting about mm -hmm. their numbers and a lot of other things while they pitch, while they talk, while they, in their initial discussion, right? Mm -hmm. However, when the actual due diligence happens, they, they fail on that, which is absolutely wrong. Never, right. ever, ever, ever do that. Okay. You have lost the trust of an investor. Right, right. So I think I think fairly you're saying there are key indicators when it comes to investments, uh, saying, you know, your metrics, your team, your journey of uh, what is your growth from zero to one uh, has to be very important key points and has to be some kind of a validation check done uh, from your side itself before going to an investor, right? So that True. basically helps in your conversion of your success of your idea to an investment, right? So I think that's where you're trying to indicate uh, these points as a relative uh, approach, how you would do that in this journey of investment. I would like to, you know, just summarize a little bit uh, prior to what we discussed, Mr. Devang to Mr. Sanjeev sir and, and uh, Srinivas as well. So uh, what, sir, what we discussed was around uh, you know, we all know the topic today, which is journey to investment. So having said that, where the areas that he covered was, what was Mr. Devang's perspective before he puts in his, uh, you know, his money on the trust and value of the, the company. So what Mr. Devang said was, uh, he will look at the team, um, you know, their growth of uh, what they've done as a startup, the metrics that is needed. Uh, you know, it could be the first customer or what kind of revenues, or what, how they have started from an ideation stage to a particular growth curve, uh, and and how uh, how are they growing so far with projections and metrics and all of these things. So this is something that has to be covered uh, from the startup as a you know and as a normal process and a procedure, so that they can convert their idea into an investment uh, with a success rate going on a higher note. So that is something that you know we kind of. Uh, cover into this small brief of summary before we started. So, uh, so Mr. Devang, having said that, uh, where do you see an opportunity of 
you know, idea-based companies also to find an investment, right? So I need your perspective there because I know there has been a tangential shift from where the investor mindset was to where the investors are today. They want to keep their risks, risks below. But still, where do you see an opportunity as an angel investor to see, uh, you know, what are the perspectives or parameters you would see for an idea-based company? True. In this so, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, again, so at one point in time, we had good amount of investors who were looking forward to invest at idea stage. But as you said rightly, those number of investors have reduced over a period of time. Why? Because a lot of investors now need POC done. They want to understand whether you'll be able to do business, not able to do business. Do you have the right mindset to do business? However, coming back to your question, uh, if you have an idea and you need money to execute that idea, there are a lot of incubators. There are a lot of accelerators, right? Approach those guys. Mm -hmm. Don't start talking to the investor at this point in time. Or if you have to approach the investor, approach a strategic investor. Mm -hmm. Because that investor will not only give you money, but if he likes the idea, which is probably in his uh, vertical or horizontal line of business, he mm -hmm. will definitely give you money. And not only money, but he'll give you a lot of strategic advice, a lot of strategic connections, Mm -hmm. growth hack right wherein you'll be able to scale up fast wherein you'll be able to uh reach out to more number of customers or probably uh more number of contacts in their ecosystem mm -hmm. so talk to the right set of people when you have an idea and i am very looking out to raise funds basically it is all about again so at an idea stage if you if you have an ip if you have a register if, if you've patented your idea and then you need money i think you still have a better chance rather than having no uh, patent done or anything like that so if you're creating something on an iot side or anything basically and if you think you can get a patent done first get the patent done and then approach the investors that is something that investors would look at sure mr Ning. i think these are valid points uh, in order to you know uh, have certain any more any more areas that you want to cover in this journey of investment anything that we you think are still our value adds that we can cover into these segments of points that we have so i think um having the right set of documentation is very very important okay. right so while you start pitching have a good pitch deck post mm -hmm. which your financial forecast if you are already in business for some amount of time have your numbers ready okay since inception right mm -hmm. your operational data your pnls mm -hmm. your month on month mi mm -hmm. keep all these things ready now what happens a lot of time is startups approach investors they want to raise funds once investor says okay we want to see your numbers then these guys disappear for a couple of weeks we okay. didn't have the numbers we had a very limited team because of money we don't have that huge team and we can't we didn't have it ready and we are still making it it doesn't give that Im good impression to the investors sure while okay. investors understand mm -hmm. that it's a startup and there will be challenges but these are some basic things keep it ready your im keep it yeah. ready right okay. right right sure i think i think that summarizes the initial topic mr devan which is uh, journey to investment. Uh, I think I'll take this conversation next with Mr. Sanjeev uh, and uh, Mr. Srinivas. Um, so, uh, hey everyone, we're just moving on to the half of the session done. So, moving on to the next part of the session in the same session, which is about uh, Kuberan's House and how Kuberan's House initiative will really help uh, take an idea to an investment. Uh, it could be from the ideator side of the ideas that's coming in or the entrepreneur side of the business that's coming in to investors, right? So I have Mr. Sanjeev K. Kumar, who's the co-founder and CEO of uh, Kuberan's House. Mr. Sanjeev K. Kumar uh, has, has come in with great amounts of experience in the, in the sector of entertainment, uh, multimedia, and various other industries over the past 30 years. Uh, having said that, um, Mr. Sanjeev has been a part of many initiatives in the past and uh, uh, this has been a great opportunity to have him on this session and uh, uh, he's also been the visionary of Kuperan's house, uh, which, is, uh, which is one of the nicest and the greatest things that's coming for the Indian ecosystem and it, it's a huge honor and privilege for me to introduce Mr. Sanjeev, sir. Hi, sir. How are you? Uh, hope you're doing fine. Sir, you have to unmute. Unmute, sir. There we go. Yeah, go ahead, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hi, oh, over to you, sir. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, yeah. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, I just got stuck on the other, you know, there was a small link problem. So, you know, I was there. So, 
I was here. Uh, so my whole idea is that, you know, uh, the way we've been thinking about this entire ideation, uh, the way we want to go forward, there's a huge uh, confusion that we've landed in, in terms of who is an ideator, who is an entrepreneur. I think, you know, uh, they, with Devang, um, you know, coming in in terms of, you know, I, uh, identifying that, I think that problem area needs to be, you know, addressed at a very, very nascent stage and a very, very, you know, because there's, I, I'm, I'm very, very sure that people here uh, who have joined in have also this confusion, you know, am I an ideator? Am I an entrepreneur? What does it take for an ideator to be an entrepreneur and what are the differences? I think it's all about numbers and the business uh, module and how you get incubated, how, you, how there is a, you know, a definite uh, kind of a uh, pitch deck uh, in terms of the business module. I think that is where, you know, uh, the entire uh, 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 ecosystem needs to uh, come in together and, you know, address this problem. Uh, so that is the whole idea that, you know, we want to have these webinars uh, so that it is also, you know, Covenant's House, I keep saying, is not just a show. It's about, you know, uh, being a very, very integral part of the entire ecosystem and uh, have a great knowledge share with, uh, you know, the VCs and the uh, startup community. Uh, we uh, the uh, the idea also being that uh, you know the model being processed and the way it is uh, you know uh, goes on uh, is actually uh, it actually becomes a showcase to a lot more ideas around India. So that is the idea behind it. I think you know we need to do more such webinars and uh, to a bigger community uh, so that there is a great knowledge share in what we are trying to do and how we are, you know, when we were talking to some of the Kuberas, the so-called Kuberas, as we want to call it now, I'm sure after the, after the season one, you know, there will be a term called Kuberas. Uh, but, uh, that's how we want to project the investors. Uh, there, there has been a constant um, ask from their end. Are you sure about the kind of startups that are going to come in? See, uh, basically, uh, the, uh, the problem area in terms of the, what they are asking, in fact, is that are your startups which are landing, uh, are they incubated? Do they have a business model? That, you know, we've not been able to give a very, very affirmative answer because there are things here and there. So I think, you know, it is a, it is a, uh, this thing on our part to be, uh, be able to get these ideas and make them and, you know, get, get them incubated so that we present them well to the Kuberas. So I think this is a very ongoing process. I think everybody needs to contribute. That's a well said, sir. Well said. I think I think that's where we are looking at startup ecosystems uh, applying to Kuberan's house uh, to ensure that there is a greater presence and value that they would get from this initiative and the visionary of the founders. So this is something that uh, it is really exciting for me to always recall uh, being a part of the team. Mm -hmm. uh, and and sir, with this note, I would also want to extend this discussion on uh, how do we want to differentiate. Uh, Kuberan's house versus the other initiatives in the market or in the ecosystem. That is something that uh, that needs to be addressed. Uh, I think these are repetitive questions, but uh, this is something we love to speak every day and to a different audience altogether. But what are your thoughts around it and how do you want to express it, sir? Yes. The entire ecosystem is, um, you know, uh, with the with the kind of words, the jargons, the kind of um, uh, the uh, the the tech talk is a, a complete no-no to the an ideator who is sitting in some uh, tier 1 or tier 2 uh, tier 2 tier 3 town so i think you know the whole idea of kuberan's house was to simplify this entire process and make it so uh, you know, transparent in terms of um, how we go about it, how an idea comes in, what happens to the idea, what is an incubation model, what is an accelerator, how does he get a business model, and uh, how does he get his presentation skills, and the kind of you know, the to be able to, you know, pitch it to the investor. I think it's not just an idea. We might have, there's a lot of disturbance. I mean, can, somebody's mic is on. Yeah, Abhishek, I think. Yeah, thanks. So, yeah. So, the idea is that, you know, we we need to make the ideator so very powerful that he is able to confidently pitch his idea, his business, his vision to an investor. I mean, it takes quite a lot of doing. It is not just about, you know, uh, sitting at home and, you know, uh, thinking of an idea and then you think it is the greatest idea in the world. Uh, to put it out in the market, to put it in front of, uh, you know, people who are possible investors takes a lot of doing. I mean, it is 
as as difficult as forming the idea is what i believe so i think you know that 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 essence has to be conveyed to the entire um, startup community and also uh, for future idea ideators i think that is what is the vision behind kuberens house to make this process as transparent as simplified and as easy as possible so that is the idea behind and i'm very sure that you know a lot of forums are around today you know i was just reading a news that you know narendra modi sir has uh, initiated this on the national television channel so i mean so what it actually gives me a sense of pride that me and my team are in the right direction you know if the country is itself thinking about a startup show where you know people can come in on a doordarshan level platform i think you know we are on a on the right track i mean that india needs the make in india movement to happen uh, uh, individually and you know at every level it can't be just a slogan so india needs that make in india initiative to happen with every ideator all across india and that is a movement it is not just a slogan or you know just a campaign. so i believe in that i think make in india make in india in a very very practical sense is kuberen house Great, well said, sir. Well said. I think, yeah, I think we are aligned with the vision of the Indian ecosystem. That that's a proud moment for us, like you said, and uh, it it creates an intuition towards uh, the larger goals that we have set and the initiatives that we have been doing. I think, yeah, we are definitely aligned with uh, the the visionary of our leader as well, uh, which we are really proud to say. Uh, so, uh, sir, with this, I will just take a slide. note to mr shrinivas uh, and have him introduced and then i'll come back to you sir with few more questions in the later part of the session so hey everyone uh, i would also like to introduce mr shrinivas uh, who is the founder and ceo of uh, express delivery which is into hyper local uh, last mile delivery logistics uh, he's been a first generation entrepreneur himself and uh, uh, it's been a great growth uh, during uh, the stint of his last 2 3 years into his startup journey and uh, i think during even during pandemics his his solution actually really solved a lot of problem statements and areas that he did as a founder and his team so thanks for joining in today uh, shivas uh, thanks kobin so just say hi to the audience and attend yeah so shivas yeah. uh, there are certain specific questions around uh, around kuberen's house itself uh, by the way guys uh, shivas is also the integral part of kuberen's house team from the linex team so what i would like to ask you uh shrinivas is uh the question is around uh you know the process of the kuberen south initiative right what if an right. ideator uh, who has an idea wants to get an investment what is an entrepreneur who has a business and wants to get an investment uh, how right. do they apply what is the process involved uh, and uh, uh, how does kuberen south initiative take them through a process to help them get a, an idea to an investment yes right go on So basically, uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Shrinivas, founder and CEO of Express, and part of uh, Nine XP team. Nine XP is the screening partner for uh, Kuber and House. Uh, basically, our job is is the toughest, is what I feel, because uh, you know, getting the right ones is what we do. Uh, right to start with the application process, there are two sets of uh, you know sections. Uh, Will uh, while you start uh, applying. one is uh, the ideator and the second one is the entrepreneur so ideator is the one who has an idea and that idea should have some great potential so even though the idea is not generating revenue if at all the idea is very unique very innovative and then uh, has great potential of earning revenue then that falls into a proper ideator category and the entrepreneur category is where we have uh, you know uh, at least the initial traction or the growth stage startups where the revenue has started coming in where there are set of paying consistent uh, set of uh, paying customers then they fall into the entrepreneurial category so so far we have received uh, uh, 16000 plus applications from there uh, we have started screening from day one so what happens in the screening process at the back end is uh, as and when we get applications the same day we screen almost all the applications we rate them and then we stack them after a week we again review all the applications for that particular week so that we don't miss a, any of the best ones so that is what sanjeev sir's mandate has always been uh, that we should not miss the good one no matter what so this keeps ringing in our ears whenever we are screening the applications uh, uh, so this is a process uh, uh, you know thousands of applications come in either they fall into the ideator category or the entrepreneur category if it is an ideator category we look at the potential of the idea itself 
and the you know, uh, uniqueness or the innovative uh, kind of uh, idea that we look at. If it is an entrepreneurial category, then we see the traction, uh, the set of customers. If it is a B two B startup, we look at who are the uh, paying customers. If it is a B two C startup, we look at uh, number of paying customers again. So from there on, the screening process goes on to screening the best five hundred of all these thousands of applications. Mm -hmm. Okay. So from from this five hundred uh, applications go in further, we'll go on to hundred applications. All these five hundred applicants uh, will be getting the certificate of uh, you know uh, being the, the best five hundred startups. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oppose that the hundred startups who who get into the top hundred list will have a workshop. You know, uh, and that this workshop is not just about knowledge sharing as we discussed the other day. This is going to be a proper, relevant knowledge sharing with respect to the startup ecosystem. So usually, what happens with any entrepreneur is either they are uh, an engineer or a degree uh, graduate when they don't mm -hmm. have enough knowledge on the financial part of it, compliance part of it, legal part of it. Mm -hmm. So the workshop that uh, we are going to have. Uh, will be giving 360 degree overview of running a company or starting uh, running a startup. Right. So there are multiple, uh, you know, like uh, Sanjeev sir was talking about Narendra Modi ji has announced a thousand crore seed start uh, startup fund, mm -hmm. right? So how to get that or what is the process of get, getting a startup India certificate? Which startup might get the certificate? All of these things uh, we'll start discussing with the with those. 100 uh, top startups and this is going to be a physical interaction with all these 100 startups. Yes. From there on, the best 60 out of this 100 are going to get into the show. Uh, 52. Yeah. Right. Right. I think, yeah, I think, uh, so guys, what, you know, that's the summary of the process that is involved. Making sure there are multiple filters before we go on to the top 60, 50 or 60 startups that will be presenting on national television. And this process is definitely deliberate made to ensure that we have the best of the lot and uh, also looking at other startups we are also looking at chances to be given in multiple seasons coming but we'll park the discussion now for that uh, so having this uh, said i think uh, we will conclude uh, the topic for today so today we will make uh, the session quite interactive uh, mr devang and sanjeev sir and uh, shrinivas i'll have some questions coming in uh, Hi, quite a few actually go in. I mean, it makes yes, and make it interactive because I've been, as we were talking, I've been seeing a lot of, uh, you know, messages coming in. Correct. I think it would take most of it. And uh, uh, for everybody here, I would also want to say that, you know, info at Coberance House is, uh, you know, a very, very, it is not a typical mailbox where, you know, it gets lost. You know, I personally see those mails every day on a day-to-day -day basis, me and my team. So I think, you know, you should reach out with your uh, thoughts and your questions to info at Coberance House. And you know we'll get on to a personal level and you know answer each of them in the right way. And we would we also been open to taking up calls and you know speaking to some of the ideators because we want this to be a very very holistic process. It should not be just one you know one of kinds. So you know uh, even if you if we are not able to answer the questions on this webinar, I would suggest you know you reach out to info at Coherent House and we'll get back to that. Please go ahead, go ahead. Yes, sir. So first I'll take some uh, questions that were given previously and then I'll make it an interactive session. Uh, it will be a five minute break and then I'll take an interactive session uh, in the sense. So, yeah. so what, uh, so there are some questions on, uh, I think this question is relevant to Mr. Devang. Mr. Devang, uh, uh, what ensures uh, a product or a service to be product market fit, right? I mean, what are your thoughts and uh, your views on when is the product or service product market fit or service market fit? Correct. So when is a product ready for market, basically, right? Yes, yes. Now, you have created a product or a service. As I mentioned earlier, go and sell that product to your closed circuit group. Now, who are these closed circuit group? Your friends, family, close relatives. Try and sell your product to these guys. I'm not saying sell it as in take money from them, but at least understand that whether they are liking the service, take feedback from them, right? These are the guys who will give you frank feedback because at the end of the day, they are your friends, family, relatives, and they'll be honest with you because they know you are trying to do something different. You are trying to disrupt the industry and trying to build your career here, right? Take that feedback very, very seriously. Pivot your model time and again. Make sure that you now have a beta version, proper beta version ready, right? Then again, try and experiment, try and sell it to a few more people, see if people are willing to pay for your product, right? So this is a, this is a journey where you, how you create a proper POC, which is called okay. proof of concept, 
mm-hmm. and ensure that whether your product or service is really market ready. Right, right, right. Okay, well said, sir. Uh, so, uh, sir, right now I want to make it interactive. So, I'm just going to take some questions. I'm going to indicate those names. Mr. Raja, Mr. Raja from the multimedia department, I think from or the division or sector. Raja, are you here? Yeah, good afternoon, I'm here. Yeah. Hi, Raja. Uh, I think you can ask your question to Mr. Sanjeev. Uh, whatever question that you have uh, raised, please go ahead. You said uh, yeah. with an idea, so you can go ahead, please. Yeah, good, yeah, good afternoon, Sanjeev, sir. So how have you been doing? Yeah, good afternoon. Yeah. yeah uh, so basically, you know, when uh, uh, I started looking at the concept of Kuberian's house, uh, you know, along with a uh, few of my colleagues, yeah. a lot of ideas, you know, uh, started blossoming uh, during our discussions. But the only big question there is, uh, will an ideator be treated at par with, uh, you know, an incubator company? So, you know, uh, a company which already has gone through a long process, you know, they are likely to be selected. So is it going to be just, uh, uh, I'll put it in a very, you know, colloquial word, which we uh, actually discussed. Is it going to be a waste of time applying to Kuberian's house or will our idea, you know, be treated, uh, you know, equally with uh, other applicants? That's the question. Yeah. Um, thanks for the question, Raja. I mean, uh, see, basically for us, ourselves it's a startup so you know uh, we uh, we would be probably able to give you the better idea in terms of the second season uh, when we actually go through this process but having said that it was a vision uh, that we formed as a team and uh, you know we thought that you know it should be in the ratio of 60 40 you know 60 i mean uh, the entrepreneurial ideas who's got a business module and 40 percent which are basically ideators but we would want those ideas to come into the market because I think, you know, apart from getting investment, being on Kuberan's house is a great showcase of how you want to present uh, you and your idea uh, to a larger investor community. I think, you know, the confidence level is a very, very important thing as to how and, uh, the um, you know, rightly put, you know, it is basically about also sampling with your friends. You know, that's what Mr. Devang was coming to. You know, you need to sample this at some point of time. Your, your idea might look great on the book, on the paper or on the, you know, on your laptop. But how good is it for the other other person? is a very, very important aspect. So, you know, taking that sampling example with uh, with your friends further, Kuberian's House it, itself is a sampling uh, kind of a market where you actually go out and present your idea. I think, you know, uh, I always believe that, you know, the, an idea cannot stay for, for long within you. You have to, you know, go let go of it, then a new one will come. Because unless you let go of it, then only the new one will come. Otherwise, it will stay and it will stick to you. So, it's very, very important that every idea comes and showcases itself. Yeah. So, and, uh, you know, we've gone about this process of, you know, getting these incubators and the kind of domain experts that we have into, you know, getting into these ideas which we like and, you know, forming it into a, a you know, an entrepreneurship model. So we've been doing that, but how much we can do is a question that, you know, we would be able to answer after the season one goes about. But there is a vision and a focus to also give equal kind of an importance to an idea as much as we give to the entrepreneur. Yeah, got it. So there's an, yeah, yeah. yeah that was great, sir. That was a great answer. I think, yeah, it was, it was amazingly said. And uh, so second question is around, uh, you know, this is slightly off, off charts, but still very relevant mm-hmm. uh, how how will kuberan's house change my life you know that's a very open question uh, which i'd love to ask it was very selective though so i would yeah. want you to answer that to the attendees <laughs> kuberan's house is coming from, from, yeah, from this is coming from, from nikki this is coming from mr nikki nikki okay is nikki around uh, yeah is he around? Okay. Anyway, I'll answer it. Um, basically, I mean, I don't know how it can change the life, but I believe that, you know, uh, it can become the uh, the very important part of a change. You know, that is what it is, uh, you know, because it is a moment in terms of how you can go ahead and, you know, proceed with an idea and bring it into the VC ecosystem. So it mm-hmm. basically gives a lot of confidence to a lot of people, I feel. It should be motivating. You know, I, I, I said this and I, I don't mind repeating it. 
you know, like when a, when a six is hit an IPL and there is so much of fanfare around it, when an idea finds an investment, there should be a fanfare around it. There should be, there needs to be, it needs to be celebrated. I think the moment it gets celebrated, the entire vision, I mean, there's a huge, uh, you know, uh, you know, deluge of uh, great, everybody thinking and saying that I can also be on the show. I can also get investment. So I think, you know, that is the vision of the Kuberan's house. And that is where, you know, it can change your life. And if your idea fetches investment, I think, you know, it can change not only your life, but, you know, the entire, uh, the, the, the community that you would want to, you know, get behind your idea. So it is not about one single idea, not about one single person. It is about how you can change the entire community for good. So, you know, that is the entire vision of Kuberan's house. And I think, you know, it. I, I don't know. I mean, I can't uh, very honestly say because nothing in this world can change your life forever. But it can make a start to change the, your life. So I think I'm very confident about it. Right, sir. Right, sir. So next question is to Mr. Devang. Mr. Devang, uh, there has been a question around, will my financials or revenues of the COVID times affect my growth journey in investments? All right. So uh, let's be honest. Everybody understands that majority of the businesses went through a very, very bad phase during COVID, mm -hmm. right? So investors, let, let's understand the investor's mindset. Everybody is human. Everybody understands what business is, right? So investors don't look at your graph only going up. We understand the graph will go up, will come down, will again go up. You might have a J curve, you might have a U curve. There are various kinds of curves that every business season goes through, right? Coming mm -hmm. back to your question on the COVID numbers, we do understand. So I, again, so I, in my portfolio companies, right? We mm -hmm. have seen huge dips in numbers and sales uh, everywhere, right? Now we understand, we know why the numbers are looking and for what reason that numbers are looking like that, right? So don't don't be afraid. But yeah, give realistic numbers again. So I'm I'm trying to put that point across. I've told this earlier as well. Do not try to misguide. Right. Right, right, right. Okay. So uh so yeah, I think yeah, we have fairly covered most of the questions. Uh sir, I have uh uh, one more question Are there from any more uh, I, I see quite a few questions. Here. Yes, I yes, sir. That's what. That's yeah. what. I, I just saw it yeah. now. I didn't scroll it down. Three minutes ago, there's a question. Yeah, let, uh, I, I wouldn't mind extending the session and you know having a longer um, this thing. Uh, let's uh, you know if there are some you know good questions that we can answer. Let's take it. I mean, yes, sir. Uh, I concur. I concur. Yeah. So I I have uh, Mr. Uh, Naraparaju Revant, uh, Mr. Naraparaju Revant. If you could say hi to Sanjeev, sir, and please. Yeah, sure, sir. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Hello. Is it audible? Yes, yes. Yes, Narpraj. Sanjay, yeah, sir. Sanjay, sir. Okay. What, what is your question, please? Uh, what was your question, please? Yeah, sure, sure, sir. It's pleasure to talking to you, sir. Yeah. Uh, uh, coming to the point, my idea was very clear. As same as a Ola, Ola and Uber cabs, why can't we design a food truck? Uh, which was designed, uh, which was designed of, uh, which can cap, uh, customer can capable of having a food on it and can travel from A destination to B destination. Okay. As, on this, as on this idea, I am oh. working for this year. Okay. And for uh, around three to four months, I keep around, uh, keep on um, uh, roaming around here and there. Mm -hmm. IT employees, students, uh, the one who can travel from uh, metropolitan cities. I covered all the IT employees around 1500 plus people. Okay. I'm a student for TPO coordinator of my college. So I have a communication with the 20 to 30 colleges of uh, in Hyderabad mm -hmm. and few other metropolitan cities also. Okay. I conduct a few seminars and webinars uh, through virtual things or offline things. Mm -hmm. I get I get a feedback uh, feedback from them and keep on modifying on it. I'm keep on modifying on it. And right. I have a yeah, well I so, have a supporting team so that mm -hmm. I done with the financial analysis too. So my question was okay. very clear. My question was, I I believe in my idea. I work on my idea. I done the case study of around 202k plus people. I done with mm -hmm. the financial analysis. Now, uh, what was the food menu? What were the things to be done uh, to achieve mm -hmm. the things to go ahead? For example, the designing mm -hmm. of uh, our food menu. What were the yes. challenges to face it? I I done yes. through all these things. Sir. My question mm -hmm. was, uh, what were the things to move ahead? and to find the investor 
Why so I think you applied, what, uh, Raven, I mean, can I answer this question? I mean, uh, why, why haven't you applied? Have you applied? Yeah, till now, I, I just know, I just knew it a few days back, sir. So how and... can your idea, great idea? This, this is where I'm coming from, you know, Raven. I think the mindset needs to change. You can't sit at home and say, I have a great idea. Correct? I'm not even saying uh, it has to be applied to Kuberan's house. There are various forums around and Kuberan's house also happens to be one such forum. So I think, you know, yes, uh, that, that mentality, that mind block that, you know, I have a great idea and sitting in the four walls and saying that it's a great idea is not something that, you know, we want that to change. It, has, it needs to be applied. It needs to be yes. applied to the entire world. I think, you know, you have to make a pitch deck, go out, reach out to people, talk to people. You know, there are there are quite a few uh, in, the, in the forum and you have to get them, uh, you know, incubated get that idea you know incubated and move ahead that is yes, very sir. very important yeah. sorry to interrupt sir i i was uh, applied for the is lab sir one was the uh, inter one was the thing uh, same as like um, kuberan house okay. i was in the, i was uh, applied for the fourth round of uh, is labs competition okay nice. uh, and i and consider the triple eight and eight faculty to what was the challenges to be faced go ahead i was not sitting at the home sir Around four to five months, I keep on around in the in the metropolitan cities. I covered around two k plus IT employees and the students um, uh, students who are coming from heavy uh, who are coming from far distance. Mm -hmm. And the question is a bit based upon my question. Based on the people, I designed and modified my ideas. Fair enough. Yes. I think yeah. I mean, you've gone through the process, so I think you know you will land with an investment or with the right kind of forum very very soon. Because I think you know, you've gone through that process. I think yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think you should try applying to Kuberan's house. Just uh, think of how you can. And we are not. We are also okay with you know. The, we are not saying that it has to be an exclusive case. You know, we yes, will uh, present it, and you know, if you are shortlisted, then you will be on the show, and you will fetch it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks, uh, Mr. Nar Thanks, Mr. Narpraj. Uh, it was a great idea, by the way. Thanks for you know coming in. It was a nice idea, though. Right? Yeah, so, I mean, don't you believe? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, but, uh, you know that is where the problem is, and that is where the uh, solution also is. You know, as an idea, it is great. But what is the pitch deck? What is the business module? What uh, What are the numbers? Is going to be a very very important factor, Raven. Correct. You know. Yes, we're done with all the things. Yeah. Uh, I will share the, I will done with all the things, sir. I will share with the Kuberan house. Uh, in, in yes, yes. Please, please, no, please as apply. an idea, it's great. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Please, yeah, thank please you. apply. All the best to you, Narprash. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Madhav, Mr. Madhav is online. I'm not sure. If you have any question, please do ask Mr. Madhav. Hi, sir. It's me, Madhav Goidani. Okay. Hi, I'm Madhav. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Uh, I'm class nine. I'm a 16 year old student. Okay. So I am from Jaisalmer, Rajasthan. Okay. So in my city, tourist is the main thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once the tourist came here, so could I continue in Hindi? It's been easy for me. Yeah, to... yeah, Hindi, mein bolo, kuch bhi bolo. No Hindi problem. Hindi, mein bolne wale hai, so tourist, I think. So tourist, I think. So 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 while traveling to India, may ask me brown parents don't trust on the taxi drivers after nine o'clock. This service is banned. Ki ek aurat ghar baar nahi ja sakti. Koi bhi job se wapi pe. Correct. So, aaj mera ek idea hai. It is like taxi service. Even the new startup has been started in the Hyderabad Race Energy, in which they convert the auto diesel auto into swapping batteries. I didn't get the last part. Could you repeat the last part, Madhav? Sir, the in Hyderabad, uh, in Hyderabad, uh, startup has been started. The startup's name is Race Energy. In this startup, they are auto walo ko fifty thousand rupees. Me, they are changing to autos and the swapping batteries autos, electric autos. Okay. So when I go to auto drivers and ask them that they are ready to change this, but they are saying, sir, we don't have even fifty thousand to make it up. Correct. Ask if financial problems, even they have even the brown parents don't trust on it. So, my idea is like after nine o'clock, could we start an auto service which is only for women and with the best affordable prices? Like, if someone is going five kilometer distance, its price is only 30 rupees. This is the business that want to make the trust that then you don't even need to pick up your phone and just call Ola and Uber, just go on your road, and there is an auto standing for you. One of the best service is not gonna even stop in the lockdown because if to be a case that the government also applies for those for their services 
कोई भी अगर हड़ताल हो जाए कुछ भी चीज हो और तो उस वालों को हायर करा जाता है कि आप हमारे लिए करें तो ये फेयर होता है इट ऑल्सो हेल्प वन लाइक ऑटो ड्राइवर्स नो टैक्स ऑन द रोड नो गैस सर्विस नो ऑटो सर्विस फॉर द ऑटो इट्स लाइक अगर छह सौ रुपये अगर एक ऑटो वाला कमाता है इफ आई गिव हिम द इलेक्ट्रिक ऑटो उसका सर लैंड रुपये टैक्स खत्म हो जाएगा सो ही इज रेडी टू टैक्स दैट Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Govind, I mean, yeah, yeah, Madhav. Yes, sir. Yeah. See, I mean, uh, Madhav, what you are actually doing is you are pitching the idea here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, you know, the, so the, there is a, there is a connection. But having said that, uh, you know, the whole issue is that it is not about me liking it or you know uh, any government, uh, you know, even Govind liking it. Uh, yes, sir. Goes through a process of process, you know, a lot of process. Uh, but then on the on the face of it, it sounds good. I mean, it is a uh, it is a social um, um, kind of a you know a development uh, idea. I think it looks good. Yeah, 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 correct. It looks great. But then I think you need to apply and you know put up a business angle to it and you know see how the numbers come in and all that. Okay, sure. So, because it goes through a screening process. It's not just about one. And I I always insist that you know when we have Kuberas on on the show. All the four or five kuberas, each one comes with a different perspective. Someone sure. might like it, might not like it. You know, when yeah. I when we speak to the kuberas and want them to get on board, you know, they they keep saying it is the. Can you believe it? I mean, it is. They say that it is the person that is important first, and then the idea yes, comes next. You know, yes, it, it is a great knowledge share which actually opened my eyes. I mean, I was asking, you know, uh, how how was it possible? Then they said, you know, the the passion that that person brings in into that, you know, then I see that idea, how good it is. So the person is very very important behind that idea, and how you present it is very very important. So I think you okay. know you've got that uh, mother, uh, mother, and I think you know you should push for it and you know form it into a deck and present it. Certainly, sir. Certainly. Yeah. Sure. Thanks, mother, for the question. And it's a nice Thanks a lot, sir. Pleasant to meet you. Yeah. yeah. I, I think, sir. Uh, uh, any concluding thoughts from from today's uh, session, sir? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I is um, everybody on and. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, Srinivas, you would want to make a point. Yes, sir. So uh, uh, there are a lot of questions in terms of all the questions look to be looks to be ideas. So right. Kuberan House is open, and you should apply for your dream. Is what I feel. So once you apply, if the idea has the right potential, you will be there on the show. Is what I would like to say to the audience there in the show, uh, in the call. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. I think you know. Uh, we are. If there are any uh, holistic questions, please ask. I mean, uh, I don't think there is the right forum to discuss ideas because right. you know. Right. So, Yes, sir. So uh, I've recently posted a message, and I like the message of you celebrating entrepreneurship like a six in the IPL. So being uh, on an entrepreneur journey from the past six months, uh, I've, what I've understood is uh, not not literal on the idea and becoming a successful startup is not uh, what we should celebrate, but the person who has taken up to be an entrepreneur that should be celebrated is what uh, your vision is. What I understand. So that message to be clearly. <laughs> Sent out in the society is should be the main goal. Or somehow, if we are sixty thousand applications, why can't you start a blog of you know whether you are a successful applicant, successful entrepreneur or not? You have taken up that you wanted to become an entrepreneur. You taken that step that needs to be celebrated so that more and more entrepreneurs come up because the glorification of a small government jobs is so much that you know the entrepreneurs are uh, kind of demotivated by the entire society in a way where they want to do something but uh, the entire society is backing you know sending them on the knees. So this this thing, if you can understand on a bigger platform, like you are you are in the place, you are in the space where you can at least send the message straight. So most entrepreneurs stay motivated because most of the time it's just not about the idea, but you know being motivated and at least taking it to the other end of the road is what. Uh, at least I have an experience, so I'm sticking along. But I feel you know it is really difficult for all the people who kind of you know <laughs> stress you up and you are at the place. You could at least take this idea, not only fail your success, sort of. I'm sorry for the disturbance. I'm not sure. Uh, not as a success failure who are making it to the end of the Kuber and House. It's just who have applied a blog at least to showcase or send the message across. Uh, it's not about success. It's just about starting. Yeah. 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 Yeah
perfectly. So I think, I mean, that is the whole idea and we want to celebrate that, you know, and it has to be become a part of the system. And, uh, you know, we have uh, sports icons, we have film star icons, we've got all kinds True. of icons. We've got social media icons also, but we don't have startup icons. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. I think, you know, that idolization of the startup community needs to be done. And I think, you know, we need to celebrate that idolization. And I think, you know, there are great, great, great people who have done some great work on that. And I think they need to be, they, they are very great idols because, you know, they make their own money. And that is the, you know, the greatest, uh, you know, idol, um, uh, the quality of an idol. So, and they've made it on their own scheme. So I think, you know, that needs to be celebrated. I hope it it happens very, very soon. Yes, sir. one last request is the Kuber and House is a good platform. So, you know, you can actually make this uh, happen uh, for successful young people like us, at least to give that's, it some that's kind That's of- the idea, Sachin. I mean, I, uh, after Kuber and House, I think your parents will never ever say, don't do business. <laughs> it's not the parents, sir. it's the society. You know, the parents are always good with you. It's, it's, it's well, just- actually, there, are, there are quite a few parents, you know, who want you to take up a job and, you know, not do business. So yeah. I think, it, yeah. so I mean, yeah, that's how it is. I mean, I think the mindset, the psyche should change. I mean, True. if that changes, I mean, we are we are on the global platform very soon. True, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for the question, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, uh, Sai, for the question. And uh, sir, uh, concluding uh, discussions, uh, could we have this concluded? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, most of it is um, um, answered, but I believe that there are going to be more questions. So kindly reach out to us. We are a very, very uh, interactive and a very informative kind of a platform. And we want, you know, uh, questions to come in. You can uh, mail it to us. There are WhatsApp numbers. You can share the WhatsApp number also. Uh, you know, if um, if um, Sanjana is there, kindly share it on the group. And then, you know, uh, we can do quite a lot. So I think, you know, it's an open platform. It's an open-ended platform. I think uh, there is uh, more to go and achieve. And, you know, everybody can apply your dream. That is the whole thing. And uh, just, you know, I, I believe that there are going to be more questions. Even after season one, there are going to be more questions. But the questions should continue and answers should follow. We don't have answers to many, but, you know, we will find the answers for many. So I think that is the vision of the process. Right, sir. So thank you so much uh, yeah. for this uh, time. And uh, thanks so much, Srinivas. Thank you so much, Mr. Devang, for coming in today as a keynote speaker and uh, addressing the topic. Uh, thank you all the attendees uh, for being a part of this uh, webinar on a Sunday. And I, uh, I wish you all a good Sunday. Uh, this was a very, very informative session and an important note uh, uh, that was given by all the keynote speakers. So, so thanks, Bobby. Love to, to have a parent's house. Uh, and spread the word, uh, keep things going, keep, keep the spirit of entrepreneurship up always, never lose hope to your and also not, never lose faith idea to have your idea to get into any spirit, and I'm sure that's all. Thank you all so much. Thank you, David. Thank you. Thanks for being thank you, here. Thank you. Thanks, thank thanks, you. thanks. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank bye. you. Bye. 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 Bye